It's time for our GSC Digital Recap here from Pensacola, Florida, where West Florida defeats Shorter 36 to nothing. Don Russell along with Rick Rhodes. And Rick, a close game in the first half. The Shorter defense played very hard, had an interception, touchdown call back. But really, Shorter's defense wore down, and West Florida has a great offense. Yeah, they really do. And they finally got on track in the second half and uh, really showed some explosiveness. Uh, you know, Shorter just could not get anything going offensively. And uh, and I think that really was the tail of, tail of the game, really. The, the wearing down, and as we'll see in these highlights right here at the end, it was just too much, uh, too much Argonauts. Well, there's the first of several turnovers, a collision really between Schwartz and, uh, and Nobles will lead to that fumble. Here's a nice play by Moore. It breaks the open field, but does not take care of the football, doesn't secure it. Another turnover that Shorter will, will take advantage of as far as getting the ball, but can't turn it into points, and that's a big part of this. And then the game really uh, showed some very fierce back and forth hitting and big plays defensively. You can see several sacks on, on both sides. And, uh, and again, some more turnovers, and big hit right there will lead to another, another turnover. Just really, you know, this is part of the goal line series down here where West Florida will have the ball. I believe it was eight plays right. inside the 10 yard line. Uh, some controversy there, some balls that appeared to be loose that were not fumbles, but a lot of negative plays. And, and what will happen is, is that Shorter will force a field goal here and uh, just refuse to give up their ends on one of the better goal line stands I think I've ever seen in Me football. Too, Rick. Just a great job on their part. There's, there's a ball batted. Uh, right right there and the field goal will will put uh, West Florida on the board and this is a big play in the game the ball is tipped and intercepted I think by Norwood uh, and this will lead to ultimately a score there's a little hitch route right to the outside right there that uh, uh, is uh, to the Lieto, which will make it uh, 10 to nothing and now after a very really controversial play there will be an attempt for a field goal but it'll be blocked so we'll be 10 at, at halftime. Come back in the second half, and this is uh, this is really kind of the way it went. A great surge right there uh, to to get the sack. Uh, Shorter just could not get anything going defensively, and West Florida will get some big plays. This one right here, I think this is by Robinson, uh, is able to uh, scamper down the sideline after that short completion for a score. Come back again, and it looks almost like a repeat. This one to Grant for another big score. Taking those short passes and converting them into long plays is something that West Florida has done all year. An interception right there by Griffin, which will set uh, uh, West Georgia, or excuse me, West Florida up again. Uh, but uh, Shorter will answer, and they will uh, be Johnny on the spot for a big interception right there. And but West Florida will come back and control it with two rushing touchdowns. The first one by Schwartz right here, which will be followed up by. A nice inside run here by uh, by Bellinger, I believe. Will jump cut at the line of scrimmage and a burst into the end zone to make it your your 36 to nothing final. Let's go through the stats coming up here real quickly, Rick, because you'll see the final numbers. Well, I think the rushing yardage is interesting. You know, you see shorter only rush for six yards. You just can't win a football game doing that. Uh, 143 for uh, West Florida. Modest numbers, but much better than their average. And they showed the ability to run the ball some. I think the thing that uh, West Florida's got to be concerned about, again, those four turnovers and some really sloppy ball handling, which continues to plague this otherwise most prolific offense. And that wraps it up. The win for West Florida over Shorter here in Pensacola, Florida. A big win for West Florida on their first ever homecoming day. For Rick Rhodes, I'm Don Russell. This has been our GSC Digital Recap.